Sometimes I, I find it hard to pray, and maybe that's why I've written so many prayer songs, is because it's easier if you sing sometimes. And uh, God may find it more entertaining than if you just say it, too. Who knows? Except that I'm just not really all that sure that God is all that concerned about being entertained. I'm not sure except what that's just a, a human thing. Sometimes, you know, you try to pray, you try to impress God with all the right words, and I just don't think it's an easy thing to impress God Almighty, if you know what I mean is. And here's the thing that I think we often forget is that we don't have to impress Him, because He's already knocked out about you. He already loves you more than you can imagine. I remember reading a thing that Picasso once said. I, I like to read what famous artists have to say because I can barely, I'm barely able to look at their paintings without <laughs> going into a coma trying to figure out what it's about. <laughs> But he said this one thing that I really did like. He said uh, that uh, good taste was the enemy of great art, which I think is very, very true. Good taste has all to do with being cultured and being refined and if art has to do with anything it has to be to do with being human. And one of the reasons I love the Bible is because the, the humans in the Bible are not very refined. They're uh, pretty goofy if you want to know the whole truth about it. And I remember when I was a kid and people would always say, uh, you know, because I was one of those typical depressed adolescent types, I wrote poetry and stuff. It's how morose I was as a kid, and people would go around saying, oh, cheer up, man, because God loves you, and I'd always say, big deal. God loves everybody. That don't make me special. That just proves that God ain't got no taste. And I don't think He does. Thank God. Because God takes the junk of our lives and He makes the greatest art in the world out of it. And if He was cultured, if He was as civilized as most Christian people wish He was, He would be useless to Christianity. But God is a wild man. And uh, I hope that uh, in the course of your life you encounter Him. But let me warn you, you need to hang on for dear life. Or let go for dear life. Maybe it's better. And uh, this is a prayer for you, and you're welcome to sing it along with us.